got any hog traps for sale? Just for free. <laughs> Get your chin in the way. <laughs> yeah, that would hurt. So that I have to do this every time I go to try to catch them. I have to be out here to do that, or you just automatically do it. No. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. Uh, I've never, uh, I've never let it down with them with like that before. I've always just dropped it with the yeah. with the app. Here, set those. Pick up. Um, these traps look way bigger on video. Bigger. I think so, yeah. This part just stays together. You can push it back. Just watch that mechanism right there in the middle. Nice heavy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, we're at probably a somewhat familiar place for most of you guys. You guys probably seen a lot of this place before. You can hear all the animals in the background. He is crazy. So we've been, you guys know we've had hog problems at our property where we're building a house and at the New Creek property that we've been somewhat trying to catch to the best of our abilities with the equipment we have. Um, and it's been a struggle. We haven't caught any. Um, we keep seeing them. They're a nuisance. They do a lot of damage. And a lot of you guys are saying, you need to contact Yacht Yacht. You need to contact Daniel. Well, Daniel hit me up and said, hey, I've got the perfect trap to catch those and you're more than welcome to borrow it. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you guys, put it on a trailer, then we're gonna reassemble it here in a minute and um, and talk to Daniel about it and do all that. Um, but yeah, I think this is gonna be the answer to our hog problem if we can get him to come back in. So stay tuned. Okay, so we got Daniel over here and he's gonna tell you about this hog trap and where it came from and all that. What's up, Daniel? Oh, not much. How are you today? I'm all right. I'm about to catch some hogs. It's like hot. It's, <laughs> it's sticky. humid. I'm glad the sun's not out. It <laughs> yeah. is sticky. I'm going to have a wet t-shirt before we get done. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to teach you how to put this thing together. So this pig trap, it's uh, made by a company called Big Pig Trap, but they're partners with Hog Eye Game Cameras, Hog Eye Camera Systems. And it's a, it's more than just like a trail camera. It's uh, It lets you monitor this. You can pull it up and see a live feed at any time. And that camera has motion sensors. So when pigs come into the trap, you can hit a button on their app on the hog eye camera app and drop the trap so the theory is the whole trap is elevated where like with a box trap you've just got a little gate they have to walk into with this one the whole trap's elevated and the pigs are more comfortable because they're not going into a confined space so once they all get comfortable and they're in there eating their bait you just watch them on the camera and you can hit a button and drop the trap and go pick them all up so hog eye Trail camera, hog eye game cameras, and big pig trap are partnered on this. Place. Okay. They're two separate entities, but they're partnered on this trap. Anyway. Yeah. So the camera system is where it's at. Yeah. Like the hog trap is just a, just a metal trap that sits on some legs, which works great, but the camera is what makes it. Yeah. Perfect. So you were, you, whenever you hit me up so I could come borrow this, you told me, I told you there's no service down my, that one area on the creek property, mm -hmm. and you said they had a 30-foot pole. So they have a, a, a basically an extendable pole that can get you up to 30 feet. It's got a cell phone, like a, a game camera just has a little bit of camera, or yeah. a little bit of uh, antenna that sticks up for cell phone service. This has like a, I'll show it to you in a little bit, a big old, big antenna. Yeah. But then they can put it on a 30-foot pole and get you up above the, you know, a lot of the tree cover yeah. and stuff. So. Are you going to um, hook the battery up and we're going to test yeah, drop we're gonna it? Hook it all, we're going to put it all back together. I want you to be able to, I want to be able to show you how to, Put it together and take it apart yeah so we're going to put it all back together raise it up and then drop it remotely and then take it all back apart and then there we go now and i'm going home set it up and then you can go put it all back together yep so that's what we're going to do i'm going to set the camera up we'll show you guys um putting it together and um go from there you'll notice dutch yeah uh two of them have big rings and two of them have small rings they, the they got to be opposite
that tub out west? And there's two cables. All it's the in his truck. Yeah, go all the way. Now, this is something else you'll forget, but put the safety pins in. And don't forget to take them out. Oh, back here? <laughs> in the back of his truck, yeah. Two cables in that tub. The safety pins are just so it doesn't fall on your yeah. back when you're getting in and out of it. Just, that thing weighs a couple of right, three hundred pounds all together, you know. But we'll show you how it all goes. All right. what we, I'll just show you what we need. Everything's color coded in here. So here's that cell phone antenna. Yeah, that's big. Yep. And it screws into the bottom of your camera right here. Okay. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do it just so we say we did, but I'm not going to drive a T-post in the ground. Okay. So you, you know, that just slides over your t-post yeah and i know it sounds silly but you want this thing pretty close it's got a really wide camera yeah you'll be able to see the whole trap so do you put it below this yep i okay. do because that way you can see all the way across yeah. and see if they're coming in if you put it here you the panel yeah. blocks you so that screws on there and pretty much everything else is color coded in here this cable you'll go um over the top of the trap yeah and we'll wrap it around that cross member and hook you don't it want to the that. pigs to be able to get okay. to it when it falls so then then the other end everything goes into the box you'll have your battery Where, yeah. Wes I need that battery I'll grab it it's over here what? I got it it's in the back seat or yeah back of the truck So does that solar panel actually work pretty good? Yep. I just lay it out on the ground usually. Yeah. And everything kind of feeds into this hole and it's all uh, color coded. So your solar, I think the solar panel is yellow. There used to be a, a yellow tape on here, but it's all, uh, all wired into this control panel. Everything's pretty simple yeah um these go on the battery okay blues blue goes to the battery which it'll fit in the box too when we hook it up i just don't right now this is extra cord if you can't get your solar panel because like i like to oh, trap in the shade yeah. when i can yeah so this is just extra cord for the solar panel so okay there's just a lot of plugs there that looks confusing but so your solar panel would come in, plug into this, then green. You want me to hook it up to the battery? You yeah. Put... yeah. That's all hooked up. So you'll have your T-post driven yeah. out here, put your camera on it. This one goes over to our release and what i i'll wait till you get in what i like to do is kind of wrap it so that it's not just dangling down yeah because pigs are destructive <laughs> yeah and they will eat it eat it in a hurry so that keeps it up and out of the way you've got two separate tables and one i think these two are the exact same length make sure yeah so what we're going to do our mechanism problem is well it's still armed right now because we didn't disable it earlier yeah so i'm gonna have to oh i see so whenever you trip it it really there you there go there we go there is a button I'm it sorry. releases that so it's gonna drop that now our cables i like to put this end on here and yep. the chain on that end it just i don't know it seems to work better for me that okay. way the chain links give you a couple different adjustments because you just yeah. you may need them you may not you know mm -hmm. so kind of pull it snug and put it fairly close to the top okay and then when that goes on oh, i see that's so, pretty cool yeah it's it's really simple flip it up 
came out. Yeah, they will. Okay, so we got both cables, and that sits in there and arms the trap. You just push it down. You just push it down. Now, what you will forget <laughs> is you think you're armed and ready to go, yeah. and, it, and it is, but right now, all the weight is sitting on that the winch. That one cable, yep. So, you gotta let it sit down on the on these cables, okay. okay? And then you have to unhook these, so we need some slack. And you just, what do you do with them? Do you just... See that hook on the bottom of that cross member? Right here, it's broke. This one's broke. Did it break completely off? Yeah, well, no. But... No, it might not hook. It bent while ago. I guarantee you that was what we heard. That's what it was. The Wesson gets him. Hey, Wes. Give me a hammer out of the shop, please. Is that your help you're yelling at? Your hand? Is that your hand? That's the hand. <laughs> that's, that's the, I told Daniel, I said, the you, new need, guy. you need to start calling him your hand all the time. My hand. It's so funny. It's my hand. That'll work. It's just somewhere to store that mm -hmm. while your trap is live. So I just kind of snug those back up. Okay, so the trap is armed everything's hooked up and ready our safety pins are still in okay so now is when you would bait your trap yeah you know, dump out corn i don't just do just one pile in the middle mm -hmm. because pigs are so uh aggressive feeders with each other if you just put one pile in the middle the dominant pig will eat and push everybody else out so kind of like a uh, maybe like a ring but yeah even if it's just one pile you, it's fine as you as long as you spread it out a little bit yeah because if it's just one pile, you probably just gonna catch one pig. And... Yeah, and I'll dump 50 pounds out at a time. Like, okay. Don't just use like a little bucket. Yeah. Because the thing is with pigs, you've got to get them comfortable. So you may have to. They may come in, and you know, say you say you set it up, and the first night you pull up, it gives you a notification, and you look at it, and you go, "There's four pigs in the trap. But there's also four more out mm -hmm. here." Most people don't want to drop on on half the group. Yeah. Because they're smart. They, the, the older, wiser ones are sending the stupid ones yeah. in. So if the older, wiser ones are out there, the first night they're watching the, the, the younger ones in here eating and nothing happens, the next night They'll come in. they may all come back in. Yeah. You know, so you got to be patient with them or you'll, you'll miss part of the group and then it's hard to get the rest. Yeah. Now, I have missed some and ended up catching them later, but for the most part, patience and getting them all in here and comfortable. Oh, I'll get psyched as soon as I see one, I'll be hitting that button no, as far as I it's can. It's hard not to, it's hard not to. <laughs> you want me to pull these pins, are you gonna drop it? No, not yet. Okay. I'm gonna see if this camera is even on. All right, so it takes it a minute to connect and you would, this is, you just sit here and watch your pigs, mm -hmm. you know, and when you get ready to drop your trap, we pulled the safety pins. Mm -hmm. Something you'll forget to do. <laughs> you'll forget to pull the safety pins, but safety pins are out. Everything's clear of the trap right now. So let's say we got pigs in there. You want to drop it. You want it. Hallie to crawl underneath like she's a pig? No. <laughs> I, I, don't recommend, I don't recommend a human being anywhere near this thing when it falls because it's That's pretty violent. That's a lot violent. of weight. That's a lot of weight. Yeah. So this little button right here, the, yep. the down arrow, yeah. that's pretty common sense right there, right? Hit the down arrow to say, are you sure you want to drop the trap? Yes. Now there's a couple, there's a couple second delay, but That'd not cause that a much. headache, wouldn't it? It would, it would hurt you. Wow. And then your pigs are going to just go nuts. Yeah. And the thing about it, you ask if those poles were all on T-posts, mm -hmm. they don't care if, once it hits the ground, the pigs are gonna hit it and it's gonna move. Mm -hmm. But who cares, as heavy as it is, they can't lift yeah, it up. Yeah, they're not gonna get out of there. And it's got, it's got this jump ring. We've had a couple get out. Uh, the company uh, actually sent me another extra ring that goes oh, up wow. on here. Yeah. I can send it with you. I just haven't put it on here because we haven't had any pigs to trap. I don't but it just bolts it. on top. And, but you can't put anything across. You know, a lot of people are like, why don't you put fencing across the top? Well, well, you, you can't, can't because, because it's of drop. all the mm -hmm. all the inner parts of the trap. So your only, only other option would be to build it taller. So yeah. that's they've got some extra rings that just, just bolt that. on just to go up. But 99% of the pigs are going to run and hit. They want to put their nose here when they yeah. try to jump out. So yeah. then the back of their head hits this and they can't They're not jump out. out. Yeah. But there's those couple. So they deserve to live if uh, they get through. No, they don't. <laughs> you still got to get there, too. There's not a feral wild hog in Oklahoma that deserves to live, in my opinion. They're not supposed to be here. They're not a native species. They're invasive. They cause a ton of issues with your your wildlife. Mm -hmm. They cause a ton of issues with, you know, farming, agriculture. They're just a non-native 
invasive species yeah. that aren't supposed to be here. So, so destructive. I, I mean, it sounds terrible, but I don't feel sorry for feral pigs. We, we've we got to get rid of them. Nope. It's a bad deal. And they're taking, they're like a parasite, really, if you think about it, because they're just, Absolutely. They, they repopulate so fast, like rats. There's so, like every state has done, you know, all the, the wildlife departments in every state and agriculture departments have done these, these maps. You can go back and search, Google it. That like you call them heat like heat maps yeah. over the decades you go back 20 years ago and there's just a few isolated pockets around the south where there were wild hogs mm -hmm. and then you can look every five or ten years those maps are updated and it's just spread yeah. like a virus yeah like a parasite like a virus absolutely yeah, they're everywhere so if you guys been following along um on our channel we had pigs at the creek property we lived at our new uh new property we're building a house for two years and we never seen any pigs out there we seen signs when we bought the place but never seen any mm -hmm. until like the last two months i've shot two and then we've found about 20 or 30 of them there well, tonight well and quite honestly you've you've got a, a female pig there yeah that she's gonna cycle yeah. every so many days i don't know i'm not a pig person you just like to shoot them I don't know. <laughs> but they're they're gonna come into heat they're gonna cycle yep. I think and that's what happened too. When that female of your cycles, those boars are gonna smell that from for you know, a long ways away. Long ways away, and when they show up, then they're gonna bring their buddies back mm -hmm. with them. You know, because that's what you had first. The yeah. first time, the it, first two big boars, yeah. actually one big one, and then one small one. Right. So we talked to the neighbors the other day, and and there's been they've seen hogs. One neighbor says about every other year they see them, so they kind of just travel through. So hopefully we can catch them with this. But you got awesome. a bunch at the creek property. The bunch. They're just living out there. That's just where they live. Well, there's nobody around. There's no, no reason perfect. for them. And they got the creek. So if you can set this thing up close to the creek, mm -hmm. um, and then, like I said, start baiting them in. You know, if you want to put this thing up at your house for a while, start baiting yep. them in at the creek property. That's what and we're And get doing. them comfortable coming to a spot. Bring the trap, and then bait them for a few nights. And don't drop the trap, you know. Just bait them in. Let them get them used to coming in. They'll get comfortable with that yeah. trap. And then the problem is, is you got to wake up at 2 a.m. when they're in the trap. <laughs> So, so right. does that does that does that app alarm like ding? Mm -hmm. It tells you you're it's activated. Mm -hmm. Yep, the, it's got a motion sensor. The camera has a motion sensor, and you can set this to where it has a audible notification, like a push notification okay. or whatever. Actually, I had it set for a long time. It it'll squeal like a pig. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs> My wife did not like that. <laughs> so there's pigs in the living room. <laughs> she did not like that at That's two a.m. Funny. So. So we're going to um, put this back on trailer and I'm going to show you guys setting this up at the house in this video. So stay tuned, Daniel. We appreciate you letting us borrow this. Yeah, I hope you catch some pigs. Yep. P uh, we'll have a pig roast. Uh, I guess the new guy's not going to help us. Oh, your hand's leaving. He's, he knew what we was about to do. Work so, started. He had to get out of here. <laughs> He's like, see ya. Hey, we need your help. Yeah. Yeah, we got to take it all apart. <laughs> we got to get the young back over here to help us load this. So we'll get this loaded up and uh, we'll see you guys back in the house.
Okay, so what's cool is um, we've been putting a bait up here. Uh, probably for like the last week we've been baiting it right here. And we're getting a lot of bucks coming in, um, eating on the corn. I don't have a camera out. We've just seen the bucks several different times. And as I'm backing up, one walked in front of me, in front of the driveway right there. This is just an active like highway for all wildlife, including the hogs. So I assume that we'll get a lot of pictures of deer here. And hopefully um, the hogs, we'll catch some hogs here too. I'm waiting on the 30 foot pole before we take it to the creek property where we know there are some giant hogs out there ready to be caught. Um, I started baiting out there too about a week ago and we're getting signs of hogs are back in the area. They're just, they just live out there. These ones, I'm hoping to catch them. We've seen some fresh tracks, um, but they could just be traveling through. We don't know, we'll find out though. Um, I'll get this set up um, and uh, show you guys when I'm done. Okay, it's set, almost ready to go. I go to town and get another battery and then come back and arm it. But that's what I'm gonna show you guys in today's video. We got the hog trap ready to go. We'll bring back some bait and take care of all that. Stay tuned for the future videos to come, hopefully, of us catching some hogs here on our homestead. So a big shout out to my buddy Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. If you guys are not subscribed to him, go check him out. You'll love him, subscribe to him. And a big shout out to Hog Guy Cameras. Um, Jack over there is actually, this is actually his company. He's gonna be sending me a poll for the um, creek property so we can set this up over there. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Love to have you guys here. Wish us luck on catching some hogs.